his massive fists give a massive advantage. Everyone knows that Pete has massive fists and I think that gives him an unfair advantage when it comes to crack climbing. So what I'm gonna do is take a big pile of crack gloves, I'm gonna add them one layer at a time and make a Pete Whitaker sized fist. We're at Ray's Roof at the Bald Stones in the Peak District and this is Gritstone's hardest off width and maybe even roof crack as well. It's an E76C. It probably gets a sport grade of just 7C. It feels like 8C. I climbed this through, I think it was like 10 years ago, maybe was the last time I did it. And it felt really hard at the time. I was doing a lot of off-whitting with Pete. So, and I've retired from off-whitting like five years ago. Do you feel like your fists are too small? I think they could be bigger. Let's put it another way. One size bigger. One size bigger. You think you'd be in? You look quite close then. Yeah, okay, so I went up there and there's basically two obvious places and you go, oh, I'd like to use it there, but you can't, it slips through. Gotta start somewhere. I'm just gonna start with the one. It's always nice to get a feel of you know where you're at, I think. It's quite time consuming doing all this. And the whole, oh, <laughs> it's definitely wide up there. I can see where the idea for this experiment was born. So adding layer two. I mean, it should just make a small difference. It can't be a big difference because it's only another two mil. Take two, glove two. Felt uh, one layer easier for sure on that first go round. I felt like I was just falling out of it straight away. That yeah. one felt good. I could adjust exactly where I wanted. Tom reckons it made a difference. Don't feel like mine looks Pete Whitaker size even with two on. So yeah, I'm mean, two might not be enough. More Whitaker needed, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, I just, there's, there's no, I don't, it's going to take a lot of size to just make that, that. <laughs> and that seats. Little wrap, like a little burrito wrap there. And I'll tuck that under, and then tuck that through. Oh no, that fin doesn't bend that way. Some would say it's mess, others would describe it as gritstone artwork. Now that I've got the Bakewell burrito, um, I'm kind of actually wanting this now, and I feel energised. Right, come on, peep this. Do me some favours. Oh my god, they're massive. I can barely get it in. Oh, I'm so close on that. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, oh, oh bollocks. Oh, that's so doable like that. I mean, it's definitely the biggest my fist has ever felt. <laughs> and who doesn't want to say that at least once in their life? <laughs> it was amazing how much difference uh, having that next 
two mil was on that go. Well, Fat Glove is definitely the furthest I got. Oh no, I'm just uh, actually really tired. Oh, it's so like, you want to <laughs> go again, you want to do it, but then you're like, oh, I'm tired. The very scientific conclusion here is that Pete Whitaker has an unfair advantage. Every two millimetres of rubber we added, so every glove lowered the grade by half a grade. So there you have it, folks. Pete has a two grade advantage easily <laughs> on everyone else. <laughs>